I'll come take you back to the hospital, Sheridan. Back to the psych ward where you belong. No. No, you can't take me back there. I won't go. You have no choice. Your husband signed the necessary papers to have you committed again. Help me! Help! You've broken the rules. And I'm afraid you're going to have to be taught a lesson. Gentlemen. Oh, God. No! Please. Please don't do this to me! No! Louise, help! You're going to tell them to release me now, aren't you? Well, Sharon, I'm afraid not. I'm not crazy. But I swear if I have to stay here, I will go insane. So please, don't do this to me. I want what's best for you. What's best for me is Luis and my baby. Why can't I see the man that I love? <clears throat> right now, that is simply not in your best interest. Why not? How could seeing the person that I love most in the world be anything but good for me? Dear God. No. Forgive me. No. Sharon, it's Louise. Don't worry, you're gonna be all right. Why are you? Tell me. Do I know you? No, you, you go, you go away. No, don't. Don't be frightened, Sharon. I, I just want to talk to you. I just want to find out how you're doing. I just want to go home. Please let me go home. Of course. Of course you want to go home. That's t totally understandable. But <clears throat> before I okay your discharge, we just have to talk a little bit about the reasons that you were admitted into the psychiatric ward in the first place. It shouldn't have happened. I, sh I shouldn't even be here. The people who love me know that it's true, and they've been trying to get me out of here, but you won't let them. Are these people who are concerned about you, or is it one person in particular? One. I see. And do you remember... Um, the name of this specific person who is trying to help you, who loves you so much? I take it you can't remember who is trying to help you. I'm trying. No, 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 no. That's, that's okay. It's all right. We don't want you to strain yourself. No, I, I have to remember. Somebody was trying to help me get out of here. Look, why can't I remember her? Shh. It's, it's okay, dear. It's all right. Let's just move on to something else. Oh, Luis. That's who it is. It's Luis. That's who's been trying to help me. He loves me. That's that he believes that I shouldn't be here. I want to see him. You need to excuse me. I need to see Luis. I love him so much. Please. Thank you so much, Dr. Eckland. I thought you were going to argue with me about seeing Luis. No. Why would I do that? Are you kidding? Ever since I got here, you and everyone else have, have tried to keep us from being together. You just want what's best for you. Well, what's best for me is being with Luis. How, how long has he been waiting for me? Oh. Oh, here we are. Oh, I can't wait to see Louise. Oh. <clears throat> Louise, I'm here. Louise? You lied to me. Louise isn't here at all, is he? I'm sorry, Sharon. This is the room that you took me before. This is where you hurt me. Maybe you can't do this to me again. No! I won't let you! Not again! No! Help! Somebody help me! No! 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 Why? Why are you doing this? 
That went well. Well, did you expect she was going to waltz in here and hop up on the table after everything we've done to her? She's terrified for her mind, if not her life. As well she should be. Hook her up to those electrode wires or whatever they are so we can start the procedure again. And this time, make sure you erase any and all memory of Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. And what if I can't? Then she'll have to die. Fortunately for my daughter, we both know that's not the case. You know what? I'd lose my license to practice in a heartbeat if my colleagues found out what's going on down here. I thought electroshock treatments were back in style, so to speak. Yes, it's true they are used on certain patients with clinical depression, but, but, but this, this machinery is so antiquated it should have been thrown out years ago. It's very dangerous. As long as no one finds out what we're doing here, everything will be fine. And don't worry about your medical license, doctor. Now start the machine. But the... I said start the machine. She's too fragile, too weak. She, she can't take another jolt. Again. But I just keep told you. Keep going and turn up the voltage this time. You're out of your mind. What did you say? I'm a physician, Mr. Crane. You can't keep asking me to hurt another person like a human being like this. You... Are you going to obey my directive or shall I apply the electricity myself? No. 